smells very clean. I'm about fed up with today. You haven? Hey guys, we got company coming over today, so trying to get everything prepared. I think the house is ready for company. You know, everybody freaks out about their house, and I am very bad about that. I like a clean house. I like to, to uh, entertain people with a nice house, warm and friendly, inviting environment. So my wife gets up this morning, and she goes to check the dryer, and our clothes are not drying. So she finds out that the timer knob is not spinning correctly. Our dryer, this thing over here, is not working. We would use the pliers to like crank it. Uh, it's staying cold. Well, Daniel attacks again. Hello. Is that it? No. Oh, oh you, you ripped the glove mm -hmm. off again. It's like I'm whole for some Seriously? freaking reason. Really? Look at the Welcome to our world again. Well, guys, I am making my husband's all-time favorite meal that I make. I'm making oh, yeah. beef stew. We're having the Norris family over tonight. And it's my husband. I have to cook it for him at least once a month, if not more. I try to squeeze it in two times a month because this man can eat about two bowls grinded up, which is about six bowls of regular beef stew in one setting. So, I will catch you guys here in a few minutes. I am cutting up some potatoes and carrots and putting the beef in. So I have chopped all my vegetables up. I am pouring beef stock and our beef broth into the crock pot. And then I will cook it on high for about six hours. It's really not much to this. All there really is is carrots, potatoes, or yellow potatoes, and beef stew meat with beef broth, Swanson's beef broth. And my husband goes crazy over it. Daniel, on the other hand, he doesn't really care for this meal. Disgusting. I'm about fed up with today. Well, our maintenance man has come by. He has fixed our doorknob. It was a simple tightening of something that I couldn't figure out. Oh, and it is tight. Very tight. All right, they're here. We can party now. We're on the vlog. Oh, no. <laughs> we are at BJ's. We are getting sliders and then we're going to walk around the mall and get into some trouble. Yay! <laughs> well, we're still just hanging out, talking about randomness while the wives are out partying at the mall, I guess. Hopefully, they're not spending our money. <laughs> if they are. If they are, they will have to pay. <laughs> It smells very clean. I kind of like cleaning supplies. <laughs> I have the weirdest friend. <laughs> the other day with Clyde. Did you fall off the slide? Hey. Can we say hi, Judah? You like dogs, Judah? Oh. Ow. What's the dog do, Judah? Ow. Ow. Judah is a little shy today. But he's acting honorary like his dad. <laughs> this guy over here, very honorary. Go watch out for this guy. Everybody gets honorary when they spend time with Josh. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Well, Jeremy and I are still trying to get our theological eyes dotted and T's crossed. And we're still trying to determine if I'm a heretic according to his standards or not. So we'll let you know how that turns out. I don't know. Um, heresy is a strong word, but you're giving it lots of meaning today. You haven? Well, guys, the wives have returned, and I don't know what kind of trouble they got into, uh -oh, but I see my wife has Starbucks, <laughs> and we have a baby over here who is very glad to see his mommy. He's mostly glad to see and his family. Jeremy and I are still plunging the depths of theology. So we made it home and we are waiting on our dinner to get done. Making our food and making our books. And Judah was not a happy camper when we got home. But take a look at him now. He's watching Mickey now. <laughs> Jeremy is going to tell us the fundamental differences between what? Up and down. Oh. <laughs> Up and down. <laughs> this middle part right here is neither. That's all you need to know. Yeah. Done. Emotional worshiping of God without without the mind engaged. Those who worship God must worship Him in spirit and truth. But the Father seeks us to worship Him. When you worship Him, there is an element of emotion. Right. It's connected with your mind. They're never separate. But the problem is when people try to manipulate that emotion right. during a verse experience. Right. Like, about a movie. like like giving a really sad story and then saying at the end, 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 get up and sign this contract because you need to be a courageous man. Example of a sentimental heart control, not based on truth. But what if the Holy Spirit is convicting in that? Well, it's possible, but we don't use that just because yeah, it's so it's like if that's if that feeling got you to make that decision, when you no longer feel that way tomorrow because we are emotional, what's going to happen? Hi. Mom. What? Hi. 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 Mama. Mama. Can he try to use it? He's got it now. Jeremy is wearing Judah's hat. <laughs> Bye, Judah. Don't forget your horse. Judah. Judah. It's all dark outside. Yeah, nobody is up. Nobody except us. So, I'm gonna get off here. See you, see you guys on the next vlog. Peace! Well, it's midnight now, and my wife has already crashed out on the couch. So I guess it's time to going to bed. Sometimes I really don't like to go to bed because I don't know if God's going to bless me with another day tomorrow. But I do know this. Today was a great day and I found joy in my adventure today. And I hope that you can find joy in your daily adventures. It's time for us to buzz off. Y'all think I got this all figured out, but man, now nah, I don't. I've got doubts and I've got things that I don't know.